Everybody, please take a moment to consider this in your head. I'm gonna give you a short description of a person and I want you to create an image of what this person looks like to you. You don't have to say anything out loud, just think. All right, so picture an athlete, an Olympic gold medalist specifically in track. In the 110 meter hurdle race, he excels. He's notoriously known around the country for his outstanding athletic ability. This is Liu Jiang. Is this who you had in mind? All right, let's try again. Picture a varsity high school cheerleader. She loves to cheer, and in her free time, she enjoys playing piano and guitar. She's extremely outgoing, and she's also enrolled in the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program at her high school. Is this who you had in mind? Hey, that's me. <laughs> All right, let me introduce something. We are we. By we, I mean black people, and by are we, I mean we are ourselves. Although we stand together and are identified as black people, we simultaneously stand together as unique individuals. Black people are often put into a box or placed into a category by society to conform to stereotypes claimed to be true statistics. Through stereotypes, imagined facts become reality, the same way anyone can keep reminding you that the sun is blue until you actually believe it without ever actually going outside to check for yourself. Here, let me give you an example. So when I was a freshman in high school, we were on our way home from school, and I was having a friendly conversation with a certain lady that I knew pretty well. Halfway through our conversation, she says, and I quote, are you aware that one in eight 15-year-old black girls, just like you, end up pregnant and drop out of high school? Most of you end up as single mothers. Now, my first reaction to the statistic was shock. I didn't know what to think. And then my logic kicked in as I debated whether this statistic was actually true or not. I mean, I thought about it. I felt sorry for myself. What if it was true? Did that mean I was already programmed to be the one in every eight? This lady scared me and shook my ego as I imagined a bleak future. I went in circles, struggling to understand how anyone, how any situation could ever allow anyone to paint an entire group of people with one paintbrush. This antidote is a scary example of how these days, stereotypes are no longer automatically seen and recognized as wrong or inappropriate. It seems to me that the pattern seems to be that once anyone has a convenient example, it is used as a tool to support a fact. This is how labels are created. Through labels, through everyday things like social media and conversations, such labels become a stigma to follow the stereotyped individual. What this lady didn't understand is that concept of we are we. Although we are identified and we stand together as black people, we simultaneously stand together as unique individuals. Different situations, circumstances, and backgrounds lead to different outputs, results, and lifestyles. While there may be some single black mothers out there, yes, I found this lady's statistic, whether it be true or false, irrelevant to myself. Although we stand together and are, identif are identified as black people, we simultaneously stand together as unique individuals. We are not all a statistic and we are not all a stereotype. We are not what many would assume that we are. And now that you know what we are not, I can tell you who we are. We are just like anybody else under the sun, although the bad is usually, um, although the bad is usually let out as the good is swept under the rug. We are just like everybody else. We love good things, we love fame, we love success, we love to laugh, we cry. Who are we? We are Henrietta Lacks. Her cells led to the scientific breakthrough in the study of AIDS, influenza, cancer, and more. We are Barack Obama, the fifth black senator in the history of the United States and the first black president in the history of the United States. We are Gabby Douglas, the first African-American to win the individual all-around 
gymnastics Olympic medal. We are Tapiwa Kapurura, my older brother, graduating high school with three associate's degrees and starting as a junior at the University of Oregon at the age of 18. We are bakers, lawyers, poets, marine biologists, tennis players. We are we. I'd like to now share with you guys a personal piece of poetry I wrote last year on this same topic. The name of the poem is A Look Inside, and it's an interactive poem. So I'm going to say a line about five times. It's going to be, who am I when I am me? And I need you guys to respond with, you are you, we are we. All right, let's practice. Who am I when I am me? You are you, and we are we. Perfect. All right, again, the name of the poem is A Look Inside. They don't think this skin is pretty. You're cute for a black girl. They don't think this skin is pretty. Why are you so dark? They don't think this skin is pretty. Nah, nah, I wouldn't date a black girl unless she was a light skin. Who am I when I am me? They don't want to see your black skin. They don't want to see your nappy hair. They do not want to see your kinky hair, black girl. Who am I when I am me? You are you, and we are we. They will look right past your dark, majestic eyes and into your soul to find something. Who am I when I am me? You are you, and we are we. What's up, they say. Hello, I say. I'm happy, I say. Are you? They question. I'm not, I will admit. Continue, they persist. I'm black, I'm beautiful, but in this world, sadly, only to myself. I've got a brain, a smart one. I've got feelings, a passion, hopes for the future, and a vision of a world without oppression. They're gone. They dig into my soul. The dirt is left exposed. The shovel is cast to the side, into my soul. What was searched for was not found. The quest for that black accent was unsuccessful. The quest for that uncouth behavior they would use as a means of entertainment was unsuccessful. I'm sorry, are you not entertained? But my true being is left exposed. I'm exposed. We're exposed. Who am I when I am me? You are you, we are me. All right, so you know, I'm kind of tired of the word nigga being carelessly tossed around. White person, did you know you, our ancestors were once slaves? Black person, did you know your ancestors were once slaves and we were lynched, burned, killed under the label? You know, I'm kind of tired of being intellectually underestimated and athletically overestimated. You know, I'm kind of tired of writing poetry in hopes to change the world. Will your mind be provoked? Will your mind be provoked? but I'll dust myself off every morning and get myself up. Let your dreads hang loosely, your dashiki wear it bold. Take pride in your culture. Leave cosmetics at the store for my dark skin I adore. But it seems a pattern has been formed and I alone cannot state it. Who am I when I am me? You are you and we are me. Something they don't want to see. Thank you.